A gearhead can still invest in a great car even if they have a strict $10,000 budget. Older American cars are some of the best examples of the great deals available on the second-hand car market. Vehicles that may have fallen off a buyer's radar or were only thought to be beyond the $10,000 price range. There is something out there to satisfy any gearhead's itch, even though some of the greatest American luxury cars ever produced may not fall into this price category. A short scan of the classifieds demonstrates that there are still plenty of eye-catching American classics available, but they are difficult to find. Finding a balance between price, dependability, and coolness is crucial. Hi guys, welcome to Finest Vehicles. Today we will look at the 11 coolest classic American cars that you can buy for under $10,000. And stay tuned, because somewhere in this video we will present a fun fact that you will find very interesting. Number 11. The C4 Chevrolet Corvette with an average price of $9,100. The fourth generation Chevrolet Corvette, a vehicle that provides a tremendous value for the money, comes in just under the $10,000 price range. It is a performance vehicle with enough spice to rival many modern sports cars, dripping with superb 1980s throwback flair. To get large grins, pick up an upgraded engine version. With 300 horsepower, the 5.7-liter V8 can accelerate a gearhead to 60 miles per hour in 5.8 seconds. When moving, the C4 Corvette is just as thrilling as the 2023 Corvette, tearing up the road and drawing admiring glances. Number 10. The 1955 Packard Clipper Super with an average price of $7,700. The 1955 Packard Clipper Super is the ideal vehicle to use when grace is needed to take the place of pace. Everyone admires a used American classic automobile for its timeless design. The Clipper is ideal for leisurely cruising because it is elegant and comfortable. The 225 horsepower 5.2 liter V8 engine made sure that the journey went smoothly. The Packard Clipper Super wasn't the fastest classic car, but it was more about style than speed. However, it will gladly keep up with current traffic and outperform the bulk of automobiles in the field. Number 9. The 1964 Ford Galaxy with an average price of $8,560. The 1964 Ford Galaxy was smoother and more aerodynamic than its predecessors thanks to a redesign that would help it compete in NASCAR. The Ford Galaxy was a well-rounded vehicle that offered drivers lots of power. It was attractive, useful, and had a space-age appearance. A 1964 Galaxy is powered by a Ford 6.3-liter Z-Code V8 engine with 300 horsepower and it has a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 7 seconds. The Galaxy has established itself as a distinctive historic vehicle today, making it far more fascinating to acquire than the more popular Camaro or Firebird. Number 8. The 1964 Oldsmobile Jetstar 1 with an average price of $8,500. Oldsmobile introduced the Jetstar 1 as a low-cost entry in their lineup with consumers seeking a low-cost substitute for the Starfire. Although the Jetstar had less chrome accents, vinyl upholstery in place of leather, and was lacking of accessories, it still had a standard high-power engine. Due to the lack of standard equipment, the Jetstar was quite the performer with its delectable 345 horsepower from the 6.5-liter engine. It would accelerate quickly off the line and reach 60 miles per hour in 7.1 seconds. As a result, it has the feel of a vintage sleeper vehicle and it has a low price. Number 7. The 1968 Chevrolet Corvair with an average price of $7,400. A rear-wheel drive sports car having an air-cooled, rear-mounted engine. If you ask an automobile enthusiast which vehicle that refers to, they'll almost certainly yell Porsche 911 and not a Chevrolet Corvair. Even though the success story isn't disclosed, the recipe is the same for both cars. The elegant tiny car is praised by its owners for its striking appearance. The Chevy Corvair is well known for being a terrific car to drive and having excellent durability, and it provides a lot of sporty flair at a reasonable cost. 
something owners of vintage Porsche 911s can't boast about. Number 6. The 1966 Ford Mustang Coupe with an average price of $9,500. Finding an inexpensive Mustang isn't that tough because so many of them were made. Getting one that is safe to drive, however, might be another story. However, there are still affordable, basic early Mustang coupes available that are in good shape. Gearheads who aren't too concerned with the engine size or a long list of options should have little trouble finding a car. The less expensive six-cylinder versions produce 120 horsepower compared to the standard 4.7-liter V8's 225 horsepower. Both will prove to be dependable vintage vehicles and excellent friends. Number 5. The 1968 Mercury Monterey with an average price of $9,000. The 1968 Mercury Monterey with the lowest specification is parked within the given budget of $10,000. It is a full-size luxury cruiser with lots of amenities and plenty of power. The Monterey wasn't a slouch on the road even though it wasn't designed for enthusiasts who wanted to smoke the tires. The standard Mercury Monterey had 270 horsepower available thanks to the 6.4-liter engine hidden beneath the big hood. The Monterey was not a muscle car, but it possessed power when needed, reaching 60 miles per hour in 8.2 seconds. It's a stunning car and a great show and shine offer. Number 4. The 1979 Dodge Magnum with an average price of $6,700. The Magnum appeared far more robust than it actually was, and was created specifically to give Dodge an advantage in NASCAR. Although the Dodge Magnum is a massive hunk of vintage metal dripping with aggressive design and attitude, this shouldn't stop a gearhead from looking for one. The 1979 Dodge Magnum rode to 60 miles per hour in 11.3 seconds right out of the factory. The 5.2-liter V8 engine in the Dodge Magnum can be easily tweaked to provide extra power despite having only 150 horsepower. Therefore, consider the Dodge Magnum as a fantastic base for a unique idea. Before we go to the number 3 on this list, here's the fun fact of this video. Did you know that, currently, there are 1 billion automobiles on the road worldwide? That equates to about one car for every seven people on Earth when compared to the global population. Number 3. The 1991 Cadillac Alante with an average price of $7,600. The Cadillac Alante was launched to fight with the inflow of alluring European automobiles into the American market and was created by the renowned Italian styling company Pininfarina. The Alante was a costly car that was packed with luxury and served as Cadillac's flagship model. The 1991 Alante, more a car for posers than performance freaks, depended on a 200 horsepower 4.5 liter V8 to provide thrills. The luxury car's 0 to 60 miles per hour run took 8 seconds to complete due to its moderate acceleration. The Cadillac Alante is a great car now for the money because it is stylish and comfy. Number 2. The 1961 AMC Rambler convertible with an average price of $6,950. The innovative AMC Rambler was distinctively quirky and offered a variety of body types. The convertible model is undoubtedly the most undervalued deal available among those. Its unique style and capacity for six adults ensures that it attracts lots of attention everywhere it goes. The AMC Rambler convertible had a boring 3.2-liter inline-6 with 90 horsepower, so it wasn't a sporty car. Allow 15 seconds if you want to run from 0 to 60. The Rambler convertible is a gorgeous classic and makes a bold statement despite being quite slow. Number 1. The 1990 Buick Riata with an average price of $5,900. The Buick Riata is still a hidden treasure and offers excellent value. It is a two-seat Grand Tour with an inviting interior that is comfy and has a touchscreen computer. It was a vehicle that was innovative for its day and is now considered as a neglected modern classic. 
The Buick Riata's 3.8-liter V6 engine produced 170 horsepower, making it one of the slower V6-powered vehicles of the 1990s but still offering okay performance. Although it would take 9 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour, the fun was in relaxing and comfortably traveling long stretches of tarmac. Which one would you like to own? Give your opinion in the comments. Did you enjoy this video? Then please like and subscribe for more of the best new vehicle videos here at Finest Vehicles.